Welcome back guys to another good video. So today we're gonna go ahead and show you the actual supplies and products that we use in our van. And then also we might even give you a quick glimpse of the Mercedes contract that we got here. Because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it and a lot of people don't even know about it. But I actually do have a contract with Mercedes. And there's something that I do want to announce, but not for this video. So stay tuned for the next video because we're gonna announce a big, big announcement. Let's go. That guys is my OG truck that a lot of people have known from way back when and for all the new followers, you guys, those that was the OG truck that I started everything with. Alright, we just pulled up to in and out. I gotta eat, you know what I mean? Cause I do have a problem of not eating a lot, so Aaron and I have to be on a consistent eating habit because not nah, we go through the whole day without eating and i know most detailers know that problem oh i didn't know they had a sign up there right there right there Bam, right there Bam. all right guys we just pulled up to good old h2o auto detail supplies over here in west covina so i'm about to park this thing up and we're gonna go ahead and show you exactly everything not everything give you a little sauce not all the sauce or maybe i'll give you all the sauce i don't know Ya está. Ya veniste. What Means you about to be spending a whole lot of money in here. <laughs> <laughs> we got my man Alex right here, one of the the good sales reps right here. The one of the main, store, store manager. Store guys. manager. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta do that. <laughs> sales reps, store manager, everything. I'm gonna start calling you a car washer now. <laughs> and we got my man Alex, little store manager right here, man, taking care of everything. What's up, guys? Alex here. You guys already know. We always try to help out MJ as much as we can. So if you guys need anything too, just come on through. Bingo. So let's get right into the, the video. Wheels first. Wheels. So we're going to start bottom up. And the first thing is wheels and tires. So we personally use Cleantech Knockout. And this stuff, I have it delayed at 3 to 1. It works phenomenal. Foams good. And it breaks down all that grime. So this is my go-to for sure on tires. Now, <laughs> all right, now, once we got done with the tires, this is my go-to for maintenance on wheels. So Brake Buster is what we use, and it has anti-corrosive properties, so it helps prevent the, like, the rust on the road or just stuff like that, so it's always great. So that's personally what I use also. And then for the first initial cleanse, I go over here on the Coach Kimmy side. That's what I hit him with. This is the product that I use when I first meet a client. So there's wheels are always gonna be kind of neglected for the most part, a little dirty, a little grimy. So we hit them with this, go ahead and bleed out everything. And then we maintain it with the actual brake buster. So that's for the wheels. Now we're gonna go ahead and set you guys up with the actual brushes and tools we use to clean the actual wheels. We need a bucket. Uh, yeah, we need a bucket. All right. Red is my favorite color. We're gonna get a red bucket. Now we need grit guards. Now that I got my bucket, I uh, need one of these. This is the detail guards grit guard. Works phenomenal. Let's go ahead and put that on the bottom. All right, so I just put the grit guard in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, fill it up. So what I personally use, this is for the wheel wells. Get all the grime from all the wheel wells with this one. Then. I use this other easy detail brush to get in the back of the barrels. Then I get a tri grip for the lug nuts and the actual calipers. Get a good old towel for the actual scrubbing of the tires. So let's go ahead and get a towel. And before I get the towel, I personally use. <laughs> and I personally use the wheel willies in case this one 
Because this gets in the back of the calipers, like on the Hellcats, Scat Packs. They have the big calipers. Slims down really, really good. This wheel wheelie gets into the rest of the wheel a lot better also. And it doesn't fling back on you. So this is, this is good to have also. Got my towel. This is what I use to scrub the actual tire. I don't like to use the actual brushes because I feel like it actually might harm the actual finish of the rim. Also, don't forget, we got to get the face of the wheel. It's been selling out so much here because it's just such a popular thing. But unfortunately, I don't have it here. Popular because of the guy behind the camera. So Max Shine wool mitts are actually what I personally use for the face of the wheels and they've been sold out here for quite some time and they've been getting them and they sell back out again because they're so affordable and they're just really, really nice to have. So that's all for the actual wheel process that I have. All right, the wheels are done. Now let's move on to the actual paint. So personally what I use for my wash mitts are these flat outs. Shout out to Shine Supply and Auto Fiber. These things are phenomenal. I love them, they're soft, and they come in a four pack. So this is what I use to actually scrub the paint down. We gotta go ahead and get another bucket and set up a whole grid guard system in there for you. So now we got the actual grid guard down there. For demonstration purposes, I would get two of these, put them in there, but we're not gonna bump them up because they gotta sell these. The actual walls what I used to scrub the actual wash mitt with on the side. Boom. Put that in there. Then I also get another one of these brushes to actually do the emblems, grills, and small cracks and crevices. This is what I use to actually wash the car with. It's great suds, smells great, and it lasts pretty good on the foam cannon. So this is the soap. I use, then I'll show you the soap that I use for the wheels. Pearl from PNS is something that I use personally for the wheels, so that way the actual wheel has some type of cleaning agent while we're dunking it in the bucket and out and cleaning the wheels with. So this is a must also. On top of that, this is the foam cannon that I use. MTM PF22.2 is what I use. It's uh, high quality stainless steel fittings, so that's what I'm big on, stainless steel. And the gun that I use also is for MTM. So these two things, good combo. Then you gotta get an actual tip from the, uh, the actual gun. These work really, really good because they have a little protection so they actually don't uh, damage the actual fitting that's on here so it actually lasts longer so gotta add this on there and there's a part that's not here but it's the actual extension for the MTM also so for the big trucks that are a little longer there's this extension from the MTM also that we put on the front of the gun so that way it goes more reach it's not here sold out but yeah that's what we use also all right guys so the first person to come down here and spend fifty dollars gets a free MJ hat a Gion wet coat bottle and a H2O hat and 10% off the quick purchase. And we're going to be having two giveaways, so don't forget this week. Stay tuned for all that. Also, guys, I want to go ahead and mention stay up to date with our actual Instagram posts and our stories because today we just gave away wet coat, two hats here at H2O, so stay up to date on all that stuff because there's gonna be more giveaways, raffles, and a lot of fun things to just give out to you guys for the support. Possibly some MJ events. And possibly we might even do a whole MJ event down here or maybe even somewhere in LA. So you guys, if you guys have a good little venue or a good little location where we can host something, please, please DM me or leave it down in the comments section below. So now we got this whole little nice little section of auto fiber. This is what I use, the dreadnought towels, to dry the surface. So I use this, and then they're out of stock also, because it's been flying out of these shelves, is the Below Air GT. They don't got those, but they got the handheld ones. These are affordable. The GTs are about 300 something dollars, so those are a little bit uh, pricier, but you guys can 
pick one of these up. These things would just do wonders. So that and that for my drying stuff. I'll just put the, this one up there too. I was gonna say. Let's go like this. You go like this. <laughs> so that's done. I do want to mention that they do have these Max Shine Roller Bucket Dollies. I use those, but these are not assembled, but I use two of them for the wheel and the actual paint bucket. So they can run around, be a lot easier for me to move around. Now to finalize, tire shine and paints and windows cleaner. Here, all right, so for the tire shine, that's what I use, Car Pro Pearl. Things dilutable. I do, I think one to one sometimes. That way, if it just gives it a good little sheen. But if you want to go straight, this thing is going to leave you a good high gloss, and it's water based, so it's not going to leave all that little sticky residue that a lot of oil based tire dressings do. All right, so this is what I use for my paint. Good old bead maker. Now it does have a chance to go ahead and dust a lot more, so that's why they call this the clean maker where you mix tree maker and bead maker together and that's a good dilution ratio and that way you get more gloss and no dust visible glass visible glass cleaner has just been phenomenal no problems with them in my opinion so this is what i use for my windows also now i think that wraps up just about everything and for the door jams, I tend to use bead maker, but if they're really, really neglected, I just hit them with a little bit of absolute. Then I follow up with some bead maker. Now interior, can't forget about the interior here. So my go-to has always been Express Interior Cleaner. This thing is just phenomenal. It works good, good affordable price. So this is what I use and then for something that you just need a maintenance, I use ASC. So these two things are my go-tos in my van. For a little bit of sense, I go down in this section, pick one of these up and spray a little bit for my clients. I tend to know exactly what scent they like and some don't like any scent, so I just leave it alone. But this stuff right here works great. It's something I kind of like to do, like when a barber just kind of puts a little alcohol on the side and gives you a little quick little cologne spray or something like that. This is just the same thing. Once you're done tidying up everything, follow up with a little air freshener so they can give them that wow smell. Really, really nice. This is what I use for the interiors, cracks and crevices. And I also pick up one of these Lily brushes to go ahead and knock off all the little pet hair. So we use these two combos and then we use an air compressor with a tornador so on this section. The air blowout tool we'll use. That's what I use for the actual air. Blow this sucker out. Check this out. This is what I use also for the soaps. They're already kind of pre diluted in the little dispensary. So I just squeeze them and it comes exactly at 20 mil, 30 mil, 40 mil, whatever I need. So would add this in the arsenal also. Now for clay, I tend to use these mitts. These two things are my combo for the clay. This is what I use to scrub my actual carpets and the, the rubber mats. This brush works so, so nice. So yeah. Then I pick up one of these to actually use the towels to wipe down the paint. This stuff looks good. And up there, the detail guards for the corner pieces of your hoses. You gotta grab it. All right, hold on. One, two, three. Oh, it's here. No, I'm playing. <laughs> then I use this for the paint. Good, good towels. Then the detail guards for the corner pieces of the actual tires so the hoses don't get all caught up in there. So that stuff. So that pretty much wraps up just about a uh, quick little maintenance of what I use and kind of what I have in the van. Now that's not everything. 
if you guys do want to see a full full tour of every single little piece of tools that i have and products please leave that in the comments section below because we might just come out with that video also but let me go ahead and tell alex alex all right guys so h2o and i went ahead and collaborated and got this giveaway for you guys so if you guys want to go ahead and enter go ahead and like comment on this post follow mj and h2o's page and then you'd be entered to go ahead and get this type of giveaway for you well guys just messing around that's just stuff that i use i already have all of this in my van so i don't need to go ahead and scan it all up and buy it again but um yep if you guys like this type of video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it to somebody that you might think that might like this type of video. Thank you, guys. Peace.